Ascorbyl glucoside. Ascorbyl glucoside has been shown in vitro studies to be a potent antioxidant. It's been shown to slow down melanin production along with promoting collagen, is commonly used in products that help with hyperpigmentation and help with even skin tone, also, ascorbyl glucoside is really popular in K-beauty and J-beauty skincare. That information comes from Chemist Confessions blog. Formulating with ascorbyl glucoside. It's a white powder. It's water soluble. It's light and oxygen stable. It's natural pH is between two to three, pretty low. And it needs to be in a product's like final pH. It needs to be between five to seven. You need to add in a chelating agent for stability and it's heat sensitive. So add it below 40 degrees Celsius and its typical use rate is one to 2%. And it is natural and eco -surf. Here's the formula we're working with other than I'm using ascorbyl glucoside instead of SAP. Other than that, it's all the same so you should be familiar with the ingredients again we're making 100 gram batch starting with phase a and i added in 88.95 grams of distilled water then i did 0.5 grams of sodium phytate i mixed that in waited for it to dissolve and then i went ahead and added in the two grams of ascorbyl glucoside mixed that in it dissolves super super easily and set that to the side grab another container for phase b i've got the uxal k 900 in here just one gram i'm adding in one gram of polysugomols d9 will help keep the preservative mixed into the product. Mix those two ingredients together and then grab your phase A and pour phase B into phase A and mix. It'll turn kind of like white and milky. That is normal. Now moving on to phase C, set that beaker to the side, grab another sanitized container, add in five grams of propendial and one gram of Sola Gum AX. If you want to use Xanthan Gum Soft, you could use that here too if you want. It'll just maybe be a little bit more tacky. Mix those two together and then pour your phase C into your phase A and B while mixing and the viscosity will increase just a little bit, not too much. And that's it. Pretty easy to make, pretty fast. The hard part I say is the pH adjusting parts. <laughs> so pour a little bit into a tiny beaker. The natural pH is 2.93. The sodium phytate probably did help raise the pH just a little bit, but it wasn't enough. So you could use the TEA to raise the pH, but here's the thing. TEA is not EcoCert compliant. So if you want your product to be EcoCert or like natural, you can't use this. But what you could use is a dilution of sodium hydroxide. And I've showed how to make this on my channel many times. You take 10% sodium hydroxide and you dissolve it in 90% distilled water. Sodium hydroxide is what people use to make soap. And it needs to be sodium hydroxide, not potassium hydroxide. Dissolve that into water. And I, uh, my video all about pH will go into detail on how to do this. So I'm not going to show you guys how to do it because I've showed you guys how to do it already. And you're going to need to use that solution to raise the pH. This is the hardest part about this product is having to raise the pH. And there's not really many options to raise the pH that are natural. I get asked a lot of time if baking soda can be used. In my experience, I can't get baking soda to dissolve. I don't know. I can't get it to dissolve. So baking soda doesn't work for me. I recommend using the 10% dilution of sodium hydroxide or the TEA to raise the pH. Or if you don't wanna use sodium hydroxide to raise the pH, check out Jenna's video. The YouTube channel is Raviga Cosmetics and she shows how to raise the pH using L-arginine powder. I hope I said that right. That's a natural way to also raise the pH if you don't wanna use sodium hydroxide. And you just wanna add in a couple drops at a time, mix it in, wait a minute for the pH to adjust, and then take the pH again. And you're going to continue doing this while keeping track of how much of the pH buffer you're adding in until you get the pH you want. And in the end, let's say you put in 0.5 grams of pH buffer. Since we made a 100 gram batch, we know that we'll need 0.5% of the pH buffer in the formula. So after you experiment and adjust the pH, you can add that pH buffer into the final formula. So in the end, I ended up with a pH of 6.97, which is kind of high, but the pH does need to be between five to seven. So technically I'm within the window, but that's what happens when you add too many drops at once, it goes too high. So that's why I say only add a couple drops in at a time, but whatever, since mine was within the safe pH level, I just left it there, covered it with plastic wrap, waited till the next day, and do check the pH again the next day to see if it drifts. But yeah, I went ahead and I filled up my bottles and there you go. That is another serum. I like it. It's about an eight. The Sola Gum Sensory Feel isn't my favorite, but I think you'll like it. You'll probably like it if you're not as picky as me. I'm pretty picky with sensory feeling. And yeah, the consistency is nice. It's got a nice viscosity to it, so it's not super liquidy. And I think this is great for anybody who's trying to stay eco-cert or natural. 
And in order to use the serum, apply it onto dry, clean skin, then apply your moisturizer and you wanna use it in AM and PM for best results. Final thoughts on ascorbyl glucoside. I really like this vitamin C ester. It's super easy to formulate with other than the fact that you have to raise the pH. And I think raising the pH is harder than lowering the pH. That's just my opinion. I also love that it has research to back up its claims. And I also love that it's popular in K and J beauty. <laughs> and since it's EcoSir, I think that makes it even better. So definitely recommend trying it. Just make sure you raise the pH or else it'll burn your skin. Oh yeah, and again, all of this that I talk about is over on Patreon and written form typed out. So if you guys want to go back to refer to all the information, you can print it out too. It's a whole PDF file. It's great. He's been snoozing the whole time. Also, don't forget to go over and check out my Patreon where I post two exclusive videos every single month. So there is a ton of videos you can go over and binge watch for only $5 a month. Also, if you don't have access to Patreon in your country, you can sign up as a YouTube member instead. If you sign up for the $10 tier on my Patreon, you get a shout out for your small business. I'll have all these brands linked below. HB Royal Retreat Store on Etsy. Nature's Farm girl.com let's blend llc at stardust bath and body hempygirl.com shop levis.com owl and lily over on etsy skin lounge co over on etsy blackpedalbeauty.com embracebeautyessentials.com legendarybathandbody.com astariapothecary.com revega cosmetics here on youtube exorebb.com pardonaturals.com, naturalstateskin.com, thenatureinus.ca, nearcatalier.com, use the code on the screen for 20% off, earthandambernaturals.com, sharkcitynaturals.com, daytorelaxproducts.com, crownedglorylc.com, lhscentedsoapsandmore.com, janayrose.com, healthnutbeauty on Etsy, velvettemptations.com, journeyrosebeauty.com, chrbrands.com, Homestead Life Goods on Etsy, Canela Bath and Body.com, Madhouse Mama Soaps.com, Expo.com, Mystical Morning on Etsy, Seventh House and Oak on Etsy, and My Crown and Glory.com. Thank you so much for you guys' support. Without you guys over on Patreon, I wouldn't be able to do what I do. So thank you so much.